Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you aren't already, definitely subscribe. Anyway, in today's video, I want to share with you guys 15 tips on how to reach level 50 in Bloxburg as quickly as possible. So I started playing Bloxburg around a year ago and I'm currently on level 41, so I'm very close to level 50, but yeah, that's all in a year's work. And my goal is to reach level 50 by the end of July, which I will definitely do. But yeah, here are my tips on how to reach level 50 as quickly as possible. So my first tip is to obviously set up a mood station. And if you didn't know, I already made a video on how to set up a mood station. So if you haven't already, definitely check out that video. So when choosing a plot in Bloxburg, make sure you choose this one on pizza side because it's closer to Pizza Planet. And if you follow the same tutorial that I posted, your mood station will be in the top left corner. So notice how close it is to Pizza Planet, so it makes it easier to boost your moods. And then once you have your plot, you can start boosting your moods as you're working. And essentially what this does is if your moods are like 100%, every time you deliver a pizza, you will get 50% more of what you originally get. So if you get, let's say, $500 a pizza, if all your moods are boosted to 100%, you'll get like $1,000 per pizza. So it definitely makes a difference. And a lot of people don't want to do this just because it takes so much time and effort But it literally takes like one minute out of your shift and in the long run you just end up making so much more money So yeah, ultimately setting up a mood station and boosting your moods will result in getting more money My second tip is to try saving your robux to get excellent employee as it doubles your money and promotes you faster And what this means is that every time you deliver a pizza you get like two points But if you have excellent employee you will get like four points per pizza meaning you will get promoted faster and I didn't know this until like I was up to level 15. If I could have got excellent employee like at level 1, I would have done it. It would have saved me so much time. And I probably would have been at level 50 by now. But definitely get excellent employee. It's so worth it. And you also get so much more money as well. So it doubles your money. So if you get excellent employee on top of boosting your moods, it'll like triple your money. And you'll make so much in an hour. For example, I make like around 250000 per hour. Or you can save your Robux to get marvelous moods. I would obviously save Marvelous Moods after you get excellent employee. So what Marvelous Moods does is keeps your mood boosted for longer. So you don't have to keep boosting your moods more frequently, if that makes sense. For example, if I didn't have Marvelous Moods, I'd have to boost my moods every like three minutes. It would get very annoying. But with Marvelous Moods, I don't have to boost them until like every 10 minutes. So definitely either get excellent employee or Marvelous Moods. But if I were you and if I was starting off by scratch, I would get excellent employee and then Marvelous moods but it definitely helps getting both <laughs> and my third point is to set money goals even if it's like 100k a week or like 10k a day I feel like it helps boost your productivity and it just inspires you more to get on and actually achieve your goal so for example I used to be like well I want like 200,000 per week this was ages ago and every time I did achieve that I'm like oh okay well now I feel achieved <laughs> so yeah definitely set up some goals or just write some down but yeah it can literally be as simple as setting like 10k a a day and this leads me on to my fourth point which is be consistent consistency plays a big part in working at pizza planet because if you work for like five hours a day and then stop for like a month it's just you, you're gonna lose your motivation and you're like well i don't want to work anymore because i used to do this all the time i used to work and save up a bunch of money and then i wouldn't have to work for ages and then i would just like lose all my motivation to work and i'm like oh well i don't want to do this and then i was poor so yeah literally even if it's like 30 minutes per day or one hour per day even if you're watching one episode of a show as you're working on Pizza Planet, that's like 40 minutes a day and that's so good. So yeah, if you work while you watch the show, it like speeds up time so fast and it doesn't even feel like you're working. So what I done, I was watching White Lotus and I finished the entire series as I was wo like working at Pizza Planet and I ended up making like 3 million and it didn't even feel like I was working. It just felt like I was just watching a show. Or um, you can watch my videos as you're working. Tiki, let me guys know in the comments if you guys would like um a podcast like as you're working a work weekly work podcast i don't know my fifth point is to leave your working tab open or close whatever motivates you so this little working tab that you see on my screen right now lots of people will get distracted by it and if they see it say they're working for like 30 minutes and they keep taking breaks and they don't make much it can unmotivate them and inspire them and then they can just be like well i don't want to work anymore because i'm not making that much money so personally i leave it shut i'm only leaving open for the videos to show you guys how much i earn but personally i leave it shut let's say for like 
like 30 minutes and then I will come back on and I'm like, oh damn, I did make much. So like, yeah, even if you like set a timer, like 30 minutes and then like see how much you earn. Usually I keep my moods open so I can see like how low my moods are so then I can start boosting them. I'd rather have my moods tab open than my work tab. My sixth point is to make sure you boost your moods consistently. Now, a lot of people will forget to boost their moods and I'm guilty of this as well. If I'm watching a movie and I'm working at Pizza Planet, I'll usually forget to boost my moods like halfway through the movie and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have earned like three times my pay, but I just forgot to boost my moods. So definitely remember to boost your moods, even if it's like a five minute timer in like every five minutes, make sure you set off a timer just to remind you, hey, boost your moods or you will not earn as much. My seventh point is to don't get off your moped every time you deliver a pizza. I was actually guilty of this as well. Lots of people usually deliver their pizza, especially if it's a pizza super far away and then they'll get off their moped and then they'll transport back to Pizza Planet. And honestly, if you guys didn't know, this wastes so much time. You will get to Pizza Planet faster if you actually ride your moped instead of transporting. So do not get off your moped and also watch where you're going because you will literally fall in the river if you do not pay attention like me. I do that a lot. My eighth point is to work on an empty neighborhood if you can find one. So if you or someone you know has a neighborhood and there's not many people on, definitely go work in there. I have an empty neighborhood. Also, if you weren't aware, I have Bloxburg Pizza Planet work nights. And if you want to know how to join, you just have to join my Discord with the link in my description. I will have movie nights and we will have work nights. So pretty much I will open my server up to everyone. I will have a massive like workstation where everyone can boost their moods and we will watch a movie as we're doing that. So it's super fun and I really recommend joining. But yeah, try to work on empty neighborhoods if you can. But if you can't, then that's all right. My ninth point is to stay entertained. So this could be, like I said before, Netflix, or you can listen to music or podcasts. I listen to crime podcasts. I know that's like weird, but that's what I do. And the time went by so quickly. Like I would listen to like an hour long podcast as I was working and it just went by so fast. So definitely stay entertained while you work. That way you won't be focusing on like how much you earn and instead you'll be focusing on whatever you're watching slash listening to. And my 10th point is to not skip long deliveries. Now lots of people when they notice that they have a long pizza delivery they tend to skip it and uh, let me tell you this wastes so much time. Like the amount of time you spend actually getting off your moped and teleporting back to Pizza Planet it would be quicker just to like drive on your moped back to Pizza Planet. So even though it sounds easier to just transport back to Pizza Planet do not do this it wastes so much time. But if you are setting a goal like you want to save up to 10,000 in one shift It'd be faster to do this without getting off your moped. Which leads me on to my 11th point, which is to stay focused. For example, don't keep stopping and starting as it will just waste more time and it'll feel as if you aren't getting anywhere. So lots of people will get distracted and they'll stop for like half an hour and then they'll come back on. And then before you know it, you'll be working for an hour and you'll earn only like 2,000 and it'll just feel like a waste of time. So do not keep stopping and starting. If you do want to work at Pizza Planet, make sure to set some time aside and do it all in one shift without any breaks. Obviously, I'm just need to like go to the toilet or get a drink of water that doesn't count I mean like going on your phone and scrolling instead because on my ninth point which is to stay entertained through music podcasts etc and my 12th point is to use shortcuts so avoid using the road as it's time consuming unless obviously someone is in build mode but also keep in mind try avoiding like driving over other people's plots because if you are in the middle of driving over someone's plot they could go into build mode and you could get kicked off your moped resulting in an erupt end to your shift and this has actually happened to me multiple times this was before i actually got my own neighborhood i'll drive through people's plots they would go into build mode i would get kicked off my moped and i would lose all the progress that i've made and it was very very frustrating so yeah definitely use shortcuts as frequently as possible and my 13th point is to be patient level 30 to 50 is the most hardest levels ever i'm still on like level 41 even though i've been playing for like a year and it'll feel as if you're like not getting anywhere but I assure you with consistency and determination, you will get there eventually. It just takes time. And my 14th point is pretty similar to my previous point. It's to set a timer for 20 minutes or 30 minutes and to don't open your work tab so you won't be too mad if you've only made a little. And last but not least, my 15th point is to be subscribed to me. <laughs> yes, my 15th point is to be subscribed because as you know, I love to help you guys out. My channel is all for helping you guys out and I will be making more of these videos in the future. And I literally have so many more tips for you guys. So if you want a part two, just let me know. 
But they are my 15 tips on how to reach level 50 in Bloxburg Pizza Planet as quickly as possible. Again, I've got so many more tips for you guys. So if you want a part two, just let me know. I will definitely be making one. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. And let me know in the comments, how much did you earn in one hour of working with the tips that I just showed you? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it and it helped you in any way, make sure you hit like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe. Also, if you aren't already, make sure you join my Roblox group. I have new merch out, which is very cute. And if you want a chance to be in a future event of mine, make sure you join my Discord server with the link in my bio. Bye!